Okay, so here we are um, at Sumo Paint. Um, Sumo Paint is a Google a Google Chrome app, and it's also a website. Um, I've already used the Google login that would appear right up here, so you can see I'm logged in. I'll go ahead to try online. I'm going to close this open canvas, and I'll open an image from my computer. It seems to work best if you already have the image downloaded. All right, so we're going to increase the size of this so we can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to zoom the image up, put on the pro constrained proportions so that you don't lose your image quality. There we go. That's not too bad. That's big enough for us to work with. Now you can see in this image what we'd want to get rid of. I'm going to use this tool right over here, the Clone Stamp tool. And basically the Clone Stamp tool has two different um, modes. I like to use this uh, brush number three right here. Um, and you have a targeting mode and then an editing mode. So what I do is I come over here and I want to get rid of this guy. And you can see the, the water changes color throughout the image. So I'm going to come up here close to his hand, but a little bit away. And I'm going to set my target. And now I'm going to move to the hand and start painting over it. Now I'm not going to go too far because the color of the water starts to change. It gets a little more gray down here. So I'm going to set a new target. And now I'll start to paint again to cover that up. Now you can see here, I've gone too, I, I set my target too close. If I continue, it will repaint the arm. So what I need to do is I need to set my target a little bit further away, but in the same color band. And then I can paint over it. Okay, there we go. Now, um, maybe down here, I would choose a target that has more of this where you can see the sand through to get rid of this portion of the image. Then this seems to be a little bit more blue, so I would pick a new target. And this is all about how, oh, went too far, um, about how detailed you want to be or how detailed the student wants to be. Um, some students spend hours on this and you know this is this is actually a profession of uh, doctoring photos and so on that um, our kids could look at as something that they may enjoy and may be very good at once they completely remove whatever it is they're trying to remove then they can go ahead and save it to their computer and I like to save them as JPEGs JPEGs are pr pretty much universal save now, I always like to change the name just a little bit. That way I have the original and the new one without overwriting the, the original. So that's uh, what we use Sumo Paint for. And I hope that uh, that's something that might work into your usefulness.